Hi, in this video I'll be talking about our DIY aeroponic system. It's smaller, lighter, and cheaper than the tower garden we recently purchased, and we'll see how it stacks up over time. Ultimately, I'd like for us to be able to use it on our boat. The core of the system is this tower from Agroponics. They've taken a 4 inch thin wall PVC pipe and molded these openings into it. They have a YouTube video on how to do it yourself, but I decided to go ahead and purchase the ready made item from them. I've added some string here to hang it by. Everything else you see here is stuff that I had lying around or purchased at my local hardware store. This is a 2 amp power supply that I already had that's feeding a 12 volt 360 gallon per minute bilge pump. It's got a 3 quarter inch output that I have brought down to a half inch of this flexible tubing. It runs up to a half inch uh, Schedule 40 rigid PVC tubing here with a valve that I have on here just as a gross way of controlling the flow. That runs up to the top of the tower. You have an elbow up there and uh, a four inch cap. The water runs down inside the tower. And then we have a four inch dryer vent on the bottom here. Uh, that uh, returns the water back to the reservoir, which is just uh, a bucket. <laughs> Pretty low tech. So the idea between hanging the unit from uh, a hook in the ceiling there and having flexible couplings for the supply in return is that in a uh, situation on a, a boat, perhaps, the tower would be able to move and keep the weight down at the bottom in the bucket here. I added this tube here so that I could check the water level without having to open the bucket and also add water and nutrients as needed. The pump itself is rigged to this timer which provides either 15 or 30 minutes of water per hour. Uh, that's similar to the tower garden system that we have upstairs. These crazy purplish grow lights are units that I bought off of Amazon. I believe they are 30 watts, uh, either a piece or for all three. I haven't really done the power budget on this yet, uh, but they're designed to provide the wavelengths that are ideal for the plants. Obviously, we're down here in the basement. There's no natural light, so everything they're getting for light is coming from, uh, from these grow lamps. So there's a few empty spots in the tower yet, and a few plants, a few seedlings that haven't made it yet. This is our next batch that we'll be planting soon, and it's good to have a continuous supply planted at various times so that you can uh, have various maturities of plants and harvest as you go along. One of the calculations I need to do before we consider using this in our boat is a power budget between the draw from the pump and the number of times it cycles on and off and these lights here if we're deploying it somewhere in the interior of the boat we're going to need to calculate how many amps per hour that's using and over a 24-hour period and see if we can handle that within the uh, power budget of our boat. Well that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe feel free to contact us with any questions I hope to be posting some more updates as time goes on. We'll see how the plants do in here versus the tower garden that we have upstairs. Again, the tower garden is a commercial system. Got a lot more research and development into it. A lot more engineering than I was able to put into this one. I suspect that the uh, purchased tower garden will do better than ours, but we'll see. We have the ability to be able to tweak this over time. We'll see how it goes. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.